Welcome to Trader TV, your insights into trading for the professional investor. I'm Dan Barnes. Bond market traders need better ways to know where a bond might price before they trade. Today, I'll be discussing a new approach to price formation with Paolo Costa, head of data for EMEA and Asia Pacific at Market Access. Paolo, welcome to the show. Thanks, Dan. Thanks for having me on. So tell us, where are there gaps in price transparency in bond markets today? There are lots of gaps. There is an urban myth. There is no transparency whatsoever. We're living proof that that isn't actually the case. We've had transparency through forms of intraday tapes in fixed income called Access All. That's been publishing close to real-time pricing data. With 30-minute delay, now 15-minute delay, that's been around for seven years. We're very privileged to have about 75% market coverage in Europe. And that's because we're not capturing it from the platform. Yep. We're capturing it directly from the market themselves. We have just recently launched Access All's Big Brother, which is Access All Prints, which takes that next step and next drive into further transparency on a trade-by-trade -trade basis. If you look at the APA data as a comparison, that is very, very spotty, very, very patchy, very, very noisy. There's lots of data, mm. but most of it for the strong part of the credit and rate space is delayed for between four and six weeks. Yeah. For a trader, that's not going to help them. The universe of bonds that are published on the same day, you're looking at about 600 bonds, which is microscopic when you look at the coverage that you see in Access All and Access All Prints, which range between four and a bit thousand and 10,000 bonds per day. Why is there weakness in terms of the transparency? Is it the size of the universe? Is it the frequency of trading? Obviously, the fixed income space is very, very different to an equity world. Yes. They're not trading on a regular basis all of the time, maybe with the exception of rates, government bonds, potentially. If you look at APAs and CTP discussions, everyone talks about the problem being deferrals and coverage. There's a lot of noisy, messy data. And unless you've got an army of people to cleanse that data, it doesn't make a lot of sense. It's very difficult to follow the trade life cycle of a trade. Mm -hmm. You can't see where the amends are. You can't see where the counters are. Within something like Access or Prints, of course, that's far easier. We've done all the cleansing. We've done all the cleanup. And we think cleansing is one of the biggest issues that faces this industry right now around transparency, as well as fragmentation. There's already multiple APAs. So to have a consolidated view is already very difficult. The introduction of multiple CTPs or consolidated tape providers only amplifies that issue. Yeah. Consumers, they want to see data in a single shot window. They want to be able to go to their Twitter feed and see lots of clean data. Of course, Twitter's not for the professional. Twitter's just got lots and lots of noise in there. Yeah. Actually, what you need is Trader TV, who's giving very educated, qualified data points that help you really make some critical decisions. Which data points are contained within Access All Prints? The primary focus is pricing. Okay. We've undergone a 12-month consultation period with key mm -hmm. contributors, key dealers, key buy-side firms, and industry bodies to understand where the requirements are, where there's a lack of transparency, and what they need to fill that gap. Part of that consultation did touch on whether volume data should be considered alongside the pricing data. Mm -hmm. At this point, it was felt that tying a price to a volume would introduce a transparency that potentially in this phase customers were not overly comfortable with, particularly the contributors. There were certain asset classes that were considered very, very sensitive. And we decided to focus on less sensitive products, US high yield, European investment grade, US high grade. You're looking at SaaS, you're looking at agencies, but Euro high yield is definitely out of scope. Yep. Sterling corporates, also out of scope. And then EM for local and hard currency markets are definitely out of scope for now. Yeah. I think over time, we will probably look to introduce them, but at low ticket sizes. Okay. We've designed the product so we can very easily ramp up or ramp down on the transparency. It's developed that way, essentially. How do you envision traders using this data? I think you've got to look at the evolution of trading over the years. Okay. We're now seeing a huge focus on algorithmic trading, automation, electronification of markets generally. Mm -hmm. They need fuel to drive those solutions. Access All Prints, Access All, and various other data services are going to give that post and pre-trade levels that generate pricing off the back of that. So I think that's a very key part of what we're doing. Now, what has driven this evolution from Access All as a product? It's driven by the contributors. It's driven by the market participants and subscribers, less so by regulation. Mm. Obviously, we track what regulation are doing. That's important. But we also want to understand what our users need and what our users are driving for. Yep. They are looking to trade better business and grow their businesses. Our products are designed to support that and help them do so. Access All Prints is a perfect example. Moving away from the aggregated publication to a trade-by-trade -trade publication mm -hmm. is essential. Access All Prints is very much a post-trade solution. So the event has happened. 
at what level and at what time. That's very, very important to the trader, of course. It gives them real colour. And so ultimately, the end investors that those buy side traders are trading on behalf of, they can expect better transparency in terms of post-trade reporting. They can expect better execution by their traders. Absolutely. And so that will overall lower the cost of trading for Absolutely. them. Absolutely. And there's a massive focus on transaction cost analysis right now. And all of our services plug into our transaction cost analysis reports that we publish for anything done on our platform. And in fact, we have lots of partnerships with TCA providers who use this data to drive their analysis for the customers around best execution and around TCA. Hello, thank you. Thank you, Dan. I'd like to thank Paolo for his insights today and of course you for watching. To catch up on our other shows or to subscribe to our newsletter, go to tradertv.net.